everyone. Welcome to our little university video on how to make a shake painting. This is what going, it's going to look like at the end. Pretty cool, huh? I think it's pretty awesome. My name is Miss Lisa and we are going to do some painting together. But first, you need to get your supplies together. So there's a few things that you're going to need. You're going to need some construction paper. It can be any color that you would like. You need some glue, some scissors, some paint, and this could be any kind of paint that works best for you. Try to make sure that it's washable so it comes out easily. And then finally, a container. And make sure that your container has a tight lid on it so that way when you're shaking, paint doesn't go all over your house. After you uh, get all your materials together, we're gonna create our pr uh, project together. Ready? Okay. Now that we have all of our supplies, it's time to start our process. The first step in this process is to cut a bunch of shapes. And I have my construction here, I have some blue and some green, and my scissors. And I'm just gonna cut all sorts of shapes. So I'm gonna show, cut some rectangles. Maybe I'll even make that into a two squares. Oh, I could cut some triangles, some circles, whatever works best for you. I even cut some pieces already that are ready to go for me. They're right here. I cut some squares and even a heart. So I think I am ready to go. Let's do our next step now. Our next step in the process is to actually do the shake painting. I'm so excited for this step. So remember, you need your reusable container that has a lid on it. And make sure that lid is really tight. We don't want anybody getting upset about paint in their house. So now I need to put my paint into the container. You could use a paintbrush or a spoon, whatever works best. But today, I'm just going to pour a little bit in there. Oh my goodness, I got a lot of red. Let's see. Now I'm going to do some white. The white doesn't want to come out. I might have to use my finger. There we go. And some green. And finally, some blue. And if you notice, I'm putting these in all sorts of different areas of the container. So that way, there, it'll be uh, all sorts of different colors all over my shapes. So now that we have all of our paint in the container, it's time to put our pieces into the container. So I'm gonna put a few in there, and you can do this multiple times, depending on how many pieces of construction paper and shapes that you cut. So now I'm gonna put my lid onto my container and seal it up tight. And are you ready for the best part? It's time to shake, here we go. So I'm gonna shake it upside down and inside out. Let's see how much paint we can get on there. Oh, look, they're even sticking to the top right now. Shake, 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 shake. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna try one more time. And now I'm gonna open it up and see what I think. Oh, I think that looks pretty good. Now let's take our, our pieces out of our container and we're going to put them onto another surface so they can dry. And then once our pieces are dry, we can go on to the next step. Now that all my pieces are dry, it's time to make a beautiful picture. Now you can do this however you would like. You can make a beautiful design, you could just put them anywhere you would like, whatever works best for you. For me, I'm just gonna put glue all over my paper and then I'm going to just add the pieces to my paper. So I'm just gonna cover up all the pieces. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna put some here, maybe over here. I think I'm gonna put the heart right in the middle. Maybe we'll put one over here. Let's see if I have enough to cover up all my glue. Oh, that one looks good there. So you can just keep going until you like just the way that it is. One more over here. 
and there we go. I think this came out beautifully. I think I might move my heart right to the center though. Oh, now I really love it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I think I made an amazing art piece of art and I bet you did too. You can join us for more activities like this anytime. We have more videos online on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Denver Library. You can also join us for Little University on Thursdays at 3.30. We have all sorts of art programs and other presenters like animals and dancing, whatever floats your boat. Also, we have a program in Spanish that's very similar. So you can look up all of those activities online at the denverlibrary.org website. Thank you again for joining me. It was wonderful to have you here. Have a great day.